In this video, I'm going to be talking about the two ICT models, which I think, in my opinion, are great for using within price. So the first one we're going to talk about is the ICT Power Free, or easier said, the AMD model, which is made of accumulation, manipulation, and then distribution after that. So first of all, what do we see right here? We see price is consolidating or accumulating within the same general range. So what that means is price is moving within this range right here from the low up to the high. So now we want to see manipulation, which means price manipulates out of one of the sides of the accumulation and then distributes in the other side where price manipulated. So now let's look for the manipulation move. So what do we see right here? We see price made a fast move out of the range and then a fast move into the range again. So now we would anticipate distribution in the other side where price manipulated. So we see manip price manipulated up, then we would anticipate distribution to be down. So what do we see right here? We have to have a nice and obvious strong liquidity or where we think price would be most likely to go. And what do we have down here? We have sell side liquidity, which could be a nice and obvious strong liquidity for price. So then we would be anticipating distribution all the way down here. So now let's see if price could do that. And right here we see price takes out the sell side. So what if we were to take a trade entry based on this accumulation manipulation distribution model or power free? Then we would be looking for a trade entry in the manipulation or in the distribution. So in that case we see right here, there aren't really any form of high probability trend entry in my opinion, because price just expanded further down in the distribution and the manipulation was just two candles. So in that case I would be going down into a lower time frame. So right here we see we're on the five minute time frame. So in that case I'm going to be going down into the one minute time frame. So what do we see down here on the one minute time frame? So we see we had the accumulation. Then we had the manipulation and then the distribution. So down here, the trade entries became much more clear. So we have mainly two trade entries, which would give us a nice risk reward ratio. So the first one is mainly within the manipulation. So we see right here that we have this large imbalance, this busy, which price then inversed and then we rebalanced the inversion further gap. So if we were to take a trade entry based on this inversion failure gap, we could enter short right when we make the retracement to the bottom of it, put our stop loss at the high of the manipulation, as that would invalidate the accumulation manipulation distribution model, and then target the sell side liquidity all the way. And that would give us a 4.5 risk score. There's also another possible trade entry within the distribution. So if I just remove this right here, you can see right here, price rebalanced this SIPI. Also, there was a volume imbalance. So then price touched this, and then after that, went all the way down to the suicide liquidity. So this was also a possible trade entry, and there were actually also a call of more. So you see right here, price rebalanced into the OTE, as you see, touch the OTE right at the tick, and then another one right here, and then also down here, and then price touched the sell side liquidity. So there was a few possible trade entries on the lower time frame. Just another short example on how a power free model could, could look like. We see the price accumulates right here, which means price is consolidating within this range. Then after that price manipulates up, taking out buy side liquidity. Then after that price distribute lower, taking out sell side liquidity. And there's something that we have to look for when price is manipulating and distributing. So the first thing is we want to look for a nice and obvious strong liquidity. So let's just say price could manipulate up and takes, takes out the, let's just say we had equal highs. So in case price manipulates up, taking out equal highs and then distributes lower, taking out maybe sell side liquidity. Or we could manipulate out, up, taking out just one high or buy side liquidity and then distribute lower, taking out, let's just say equal highs 
or no, sorry, equal lows in this case. So we have to have a nice and obvious strong liquidity by looking for power free models. So for our next example, we're going to talk about the market maker model, MMXM. And I have made a recent video about it, and I've also made a recent video about the AMD model, and I would definitely recommend watching those two videos as I'm not going to go that much in details in what the MMXM model is in this video. So now let's continue. So first of all, we're just going to go up to the four hour. So what do we see here on the four hour time frame? So we see the price is reacting off of this imbalance, which is a busy buy side imbalance, so side inefficiency. And the area we want to look at is this right here. So we see price taps down into this busy and then we get an immediate reaction to the upside. Then after that price leaves these equal highs up here, but that is not what we're going to talk about for this example. So we so the smart run reversal happens down here where price reacts off this four hour imbalance. So now let's go back down into the lower time frame again. So down here on the lower time frame again, we see that we have sell side of the curve right up to where price touches the four hour repeat array, which is the smart money reversal SMR. And that means price now is respecting bullish peter arrays and disrespecting bearish peter arrays. So then we see price is now on the buy side of the curve and every high we made on the sell side of the curve is low resistance liquidity for price over here. So now let's go deeper into the chart. So we want to look for low risk buy, first stage accumulation and second stage accumulation. And then a point of where price returns to the original consolidation over on the sell side of the curve. So now I've marked out some areas that we want to keep an eye on. So the first one we're going to talk about is the low risk buy. And that's basically where price makes its first retracement after we created the smart money reversal. And the low risk buy in this case is this inversion failure gap. But ideally, I wouldn't really take this trade entry as we have multiple failure gaps above it. And price also touched this failure gap before we made the retracement. So price could just respect this failure gap up here and then disrespect the inversion failure gap. So now we're going to talk about the first stage accumulation, which in my opinion looks more favorable in this case. So we see price makes a retracement down into the failure gap and then reacts off it. And we can also see this should be within a premium as we see right here. So then we see price reacts off the first stage accumulation. And then up here we have the second stage accumulation. In the second stage accumulation, we see price makes retracement down into this failure gap right here. And then after that, reacts taking out all of this low resistance liquidity we have up here. And as I said before, when we uh, have made the smart money reversal, all the highs and PDA rates on the sell side of the curve should really not act as resistance, as price on the buy side of the curve is going to disrespect all of these PDA rates and going to take out the low resistance liquidity. And when when we are on the sell side of the curve, these highs up here, which respects the PDA rates, are intermediate term highs. But when we're on the buy side of the curve, these intermediate term highs are going to get disrespected. So that is how the market maker buy model could look like. And as we see, price also returns up to the original consolidation after a while. One of the reasons the MMXM is probably one of the best ICT models is because there are many trade opportunities within this model. So first of all, if you didn't catch the smart money reversal, you could potentially catch the lowest buy. And if you didn't get trade entry at the lowest buy, you could take one at the first stage accumulation. And if you didn't get the, uh, one at the first stage accumulation, you would get one at the second stage accumulation and it just goes on. And also, the second reason why an MMXM is a high probability model is because all the highs on the source of the curve are a low resistance liquidity, so a low hanging fruit. And that just means the price is going to really cut through these with ease and there aren't going to be much resistance within price.